Hello and welcome to this video review for Southern Comfort Fiery Pepper. I bought this at International Market. I don't think it's produced anymore, but I did find they had a bunch of bottles. Inspired by the Crescent City, it says, devilishly spicy with genuine Cajun heat. Well, New Orleans, the Crescent City is a Creole heritage, not Cajun heritage, but anyway. This is from Louisville, Kentucky. They probably don't know. The gates open with a Tabasco blast and close with a smooth finish. Chill well and relish the fiery fusion of two Louisiana classics. Uh, <clears throat> well, I didn't chill it, so I'm going to have to do a room temperature and then a chilled uh, examination. Liqueur and whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color, 70 proof. Interesting bottle, Southern Comfort. All right. Now, International Market has things that you don't see at other New Orleans area stores. Some very odd items, to say the least. I could do a lot more than just these few that I do every few months. I could do one every week. I don't think I'd run out. Um, this dastardly thing here. Smells like Tabasco sauce. All right, the appearance is uh, dark copper. They say caramel colors added. It's got natural flavors. It says on the back um, and on the front, McElhenney Tabasco brand pepper sauce. So. Tabasco and Tabasco design trademarks are used under license from McElhenney. So, there you go. I mean, the aroma is hitting me from this distance. Now, John and Nilly and I did the George Dickel Tabasco collaboration. I wasn't too thrilled with it. I didn't hate it. It was all right. He liked it a lot. And that's the way it goes with these things sometimes. So do, do I intend to chill, it, chill this and do a revisit? Yes, I do. Because after all, they're recommending chilling it. I didn't do that, so uh, I will do that. <clears throat> okay, uh, there's some wood right off the bat, like a wood barrel. Now, the Tabasco is aged in oak barrels, and the whiskey is in the oak barrels, so you get that common you know, that cross over there. There's sweetness and there's that little vinegariness from Tabasco. I love Tabasco sauce, but I try to experiment with different things. Taste. Anything else? No, nah, just a candy sweetness. <clears throat> it's very peppery hot. So if you're not used to hot peppery spices, this might throw you. Especially in a whiskey. I guess now with Fireball and uh, the other ones that, that try to mimic Fireball, it's kind of like in play. They, this, this is where they were probably going with that. I guess it didn't catch on. But it's still around on the shelves as evidenced by me buying it today and seeing 49 other bottles probably. But like I said, so as an inventory, it just blow your mind. It's fiery hot to an extent, but much more than you would think it would be. Uh, there's some peppermint candy, almost like uh, some kind of mint sugar. What about the booze, the whiskey, the liqueur and the whiskey? Um, that's hidden. Still 70 proof, so I wouldn't drink more than this or maybe half this glass. Um, It's 
pretty smooth. It's mellow. <laughs> and it's just very peppery hot. So, uh, or it's relatively hot because, you know, it's not like Carolina Reaper or something like that. But it's, it's much hotter than any whiskey I've ever tried. Much hotter than the George Tickle, from what my rec from my recollection. I like it. I think it's a winner. Um, if you ever see it, I don't know if you will. But if you do, yeah, I'd say check it out. Uh, it does have some of that Tabasco sauce taste. So it's kind of a strange product like a, a whiskey and liqueur with the vinegary Tabasco sauce. Okay. What would this pair well with? I guess eggs and onions and bacon, grits, or hash browns? What, maybe uh, broiled fr flounder, fried catfish? I don't know. It's hard to say. Something like that. Score. Um, give it an A minus. It's um, about like a 90 out of 100. It's not, you know, it's got deficits. has disadvantages. But it, um, it's about 90% good and only about 10% off. So it's a winner. A 90, A minus. So Les Ailes Bon Ton Relay, an interesting product, a very interesting product. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana.